Hi boys and girls, it's me, Mrs. Wilson. This week I would like to introduce to you one of my favorite illustrators, Christian Robinson. I'd like to spend some time this week introducing you to some of the books that he has illustrated and also look more closely at how Christian has gone about making the illustrations for his books. One of the books illustrated by Christian Robinson is called School's First Day of School, and this book is or written by Adam Rex, and of course illustrated by Christian Robinson. Another book that we're going to be looking at this week is called Little Penguins, and this book is written by Cynthia Ryland. Another book we'll look at is called Rain, and this is written by Linda Ashman. And we'll look at Last Stop on Market Street, and this book is written by Matt De La Pena. Now, if you look closely at the cover of this book, you will see that there are two medals on here. This book has won two awards. It has won an award for um, the illustrator called the Caldecott Honor Award. And the author also wrote, um, earned an award called the Newberry Medal. Christian Robinson uses different materials or what we call media and uses different techniques when illustrating his books. His favorite media is cut paper and acrylic paints, and his favorite technique is called collage. Collage is where he cuts out different pieces of colored paper and uses those shapes and pictures and glues them onto another piece of paper, and then he adds detail on and around those pictures using his acrylic paints. So let's take a closer look at what this looks like in one of Christian's books called Last Stop on Market Street. If we open up to the first two pages in the book, we can see how colorful his artwork is. Now, I told you that his favorite media is cut paper and acrylic paints. So if you look carefully, you can see that the buildings and the church and the tree are cut out from different pieces of colored paper and then they're glued down onto another piece of paper. Then he has used his acrylic paints and he has added more details to the illustrations in his book. And that is how Christian's illustrations appear in most of his books. Very vibrant and colorful and very fun to look at. And as we learn more about Christian Robinson this week and his techniques in his illustrations, I hope you will come to enjoy looking at his books just as much as I do. So let's get started.